Hey, it's Rando. How you doing? Hey, thanks for stopping by to check out some of my latest finds. Man, this is going to be a nice day out today. It looks like um, hopefully not too cold here in, you know, sunny Granger. Uh, we'll find out, all right? Anyway, um, I found a lot of different genres, actually, from different sources, and uh, I think you'll like some of these. Um, I'm going to start us off with some shoegaze, uh, dream pop. This is from this year on Canine Records. This is Blushing with Possessions. Quite a good album. Um, I've been enjoying this for the last week. Uh, especially the songs The Fires, um, Sour Punch, and uh, Blame, which has uh, Mickey uh, Bear and I from uh, Lush. Okay, the band Lush. And that song does kind of sound like Lush. Um, you can tell they're influenced by him, but... Um, it, it's not a copycat of them. So this is quite good. Um, nice new release to check out. There it is. And this comes on like a dirty linen colored vinyl. It's kind of strange. But anyway, nice band from Austin, Texas. Seems like a lot of bands out of Austin um, are into uh, shoegaze. So that's a very nice... Uh, addition. So next I went to our record store here in the South Bend area and it is called Orbit and uh, I was flipping through their uh, new arrivals. Really like looking through the new arrival section because you never know what you're gonna find right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Well didn't really find anything too appealing in there but this spoke to me so I bought it. Um, just because I like the sound of drums especially jazz drums um, for some reason. Very nice album here. Uh, Buddy Rich versus Max Roach. Um, yeah. Now, I can't tell who won this battle um, of the bands and um, drums. But, because <laughs> the drums come out of both both sides of the stereo. Can't tell which is who. But, uh, all I know is it's really good. So, he gets going on the floor tom there and um, chugs along. And it's very meditative and uh, very cool. The the song, The Casbah on here, is really good. Check that one out. And uh, you'll kind of know what this whole thing is about. Um, I don't think uh, all music like this too well because uh, they said there's too much drumming. Who knew, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop by the old Half Price books. And I always seem to find something there. Um, this is a blind buy, and I haven't even opened it yet. This is a Silver Sun Pickups and Widow's Weeds. Um, and don't know what I have here, really. I, I know they were influenced by the Smashing Pumpkins at one time. And, of course, Rando's a big fan, so that intrigued me. So I had to buy this to see what it's all about. Haven't opened it yet, so don't know. Blind buy. Okay. Then I found this one. Um... This one wasn't in the bins where they're usually at, you know, in Half Price Books. Uh, this was back by the bathroom hallway. They had all these boxes of unpriced albums. So I went through them and found this one and took it up to the counter. And they said, uh, yeah, you can have it for $7.49. I said, I'll take it. It is Lead Belly. And uh, it's a folk uh, archive of folk music. Um, I'm, this is from 1968. Um, I don't know if this was a series or what it was, but this is a excellent album by Lead Belly uh, compilation. And because uh, if you buy his original albums, I think they're on 78, and they're <laughs> really expensive. Now the Gallows Pole on here is the same one that uh, Led Zeppelin does on Zeppelin Three, so <laughs> it's interesting to hear uh, Lead Belly do that one. And then also. Black Betty is on here from, it's the same song that Ram Jam does back in the 70s. Uh, didn't really know that was a traditional song, but apparently it is. All right. Lead Belly. Excellent shape. Nice for seven. Seven, eight bucks, whatever. So, like that a lot. All right. Next is some Dream Pop. It is Beach House. And they're released from this year. Once. Twice melody. I kind of like this cover a little bit better than the uh, box set version of this. Um, 
I mean, what does that give you? One more poster. Um, it gives you some other extras, but this is kind of a kind of a leather feel cover, and it's kind of the appearance of chrome around it. And so, I I think I like this one a little bit better. Um, Dream Pop to the hilt here. Um, a lot of electronics in this too. Um, I really like the lead singer. She she's got a great voice, and um, this seems to me a little different than their other albums, um, where they they fill every. Uh, if you know there's lulls in the song they fill it with um some nice uh guitar or some interesting sounding synths and uh i like it a lot um especially uh i guess it was released in chapters um from what i hear so chapter one great chapter three great um it's probably one too many chapters but that's okay it's good out all right nice release from this year and that's on Sub Pop. All right. Sub Pop has really changed since the early 90s. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Next is another Shoegaze Dream Pop. Um, this uh, this came out in 2016. But um, I heard it back in about 2017 on Bandcamp. And I really liked it. The problem is it wasn't available on, uh, on vinyl. I don't think back then. Or it might have been, it might have been sold out, something like that. Only the CDs were available, and I um, wanted to wait for the vinyl. And I did. And here it is. It's the Stargazer Lilies, and this is Door to the Sun. And uh, as you can see the atmospheric look there. Uh, kind of the mood they were going for there, like you're, you know, standing on the beach, you know, taking in the rays, and it's all hazy, and your eyes are kind of bleary. And yeah, this is a. Uh, Kind of the feel of the album too um uh, the cover really fits it yeah very good songs in here um bathed in blue is really good so is that uh, drive golden key excellent tunes off here to uh check out on spotify kim fields the lead singer on here and uh she layers her voice nicely through here and the guitars are nicely and you know like a sonic palette it's really nice Check it out. This one's on um, on this white vinyl. Very nice. Well, there you go. Now you can see it. Okay. All right. Door to the Sun. A Stargazer Lilies. Um, interesting name because I think there was a shoegaze band named the Lilies at one time. Check it out. I go from Dream Pop to this uh, electronic pioneer. This is uh, Suzanne Chiani. And this is her album called Improvisation on Four Sequences. Now she does her, um, she does all of her music on this. Uh, it's very minimal on a, on the bukla. Okay, the bukla kind of being like the moog, you know. Um, but uh, obviously different because <laughs> uh, some of the sounds she can produce with this uh, bukla is just amazing. Now, um, I saw her on Letterman back in 1980 well, via youtube of course and uh she was uh doing a demonstration of the bukla and making all kinds of strange sound effects so it was really interesting to watch anyway um during the 80s she went into this kind of new age kind of thing that she was doing she was just playing the piano and and then she almost went into this kind of jazzy sound but uh um, in the late 2000s, she's come around to uh, come back to this minimalist type of music. And this is very good. This is recorded live, by the way. And you can probably find this on her website for about 40 bucks, And she'll even sign it for you. So, pretty cool. But very minimalist. Very nice. Okay. Suzanne Chiani. And uh, kind of looking for this one. This one's been in my uh, basket, in my... Uh, discogs for a long time and it is uh angry samoans and this is inside my brain and of course it's a very good socal punk here um one of the earlier bands um this uh most of this album came out in 79 and 80 um because uh it's kind of a combination of their first ep and their demo so that's pretty cool there's the back um yeah the original cover had a girl with a hatchet in her head and uh, as disturbing as that was, this one's 
just a cartoon, but it, it's still kind of disturbing. The guy's on an electric chair, and he's kind of melting. <laughs> okay, Angry Samoans. Not known for their pretty album covers. Okay, but anyway, some good solid punk here. Great. Also, I couldn't believe I found this one because uh, I've kind of had this in my basket on uh, Discogs for a while, too. Pain Teens, Born in Blood. This is a uh, very goth, industrial type stuff. Um, lead singer, Bliss Blood. Uh, she's got a great voice. She kind of, well, it's kind of deadpan. It's kind of like, um, uh, if you know who Dinah Cancer is from 45 Grave, uh, Bliss Blood kind of sounds like her. Anyway, this is, uh, yeah, uh, half the songs in here are, um, you know, driving, really driving industrial, heavy drums, uh, tape loops, and uh, general uh, messiness, which is great, because um, it all comes together. And if you think, if you sample this, uh, you wouldn't think so, but songs like Shotguns is uh, pretty much tape loops of music and noise and uh, people talking it all kind of melts together and uh in the context of this album it is <laughs> it is a nice addition um so there's a couple of covers on here too the way our love the way love used to be by the kinks although uh, bliss blood sings it like over like this backwards um tape loop that is kind of crazy and uh Great songs like Pleasures of the Flesh. Excellent. And it is on Trans Syndicate Records. Okay. That's the label of King Coffee from Butthole Surfers. So, you know, this has got some texture to it. You betcha. All right, check it out. The next album I got was, I got this off Discogs, is Folk. And it kind of... Just into Dream Pop 2, this is uh, Marissa Nadler's album from last year called The Path of the Clouds. This is excellent. This is uh, um, inspired by Unsolved Mysteries. Um, apparently during lockdown, she binge-watched that, and that happens to be one of Rando's personal favorites. So I really like the subject matter on here. It deals with crime, disappearances, mysteries, um, murder even. So pretty nice. Um Bessie, Did You Make It? Probably one of my favorite folk songs ever on here. Um, the dark and the way she sings it and uh, the dour mood of the whole song is just uh, excellent in my mind. All right. And also, um, there's a song about D.B. Cooper, you know, the guy who jumped from his airplane uh, with all the money um, back in the 70s. Yeah, there's a song in here about that. And in fact, I think it's the title song on here. So, um Highly recommended if you're into folk and even some like dream pop because it's uh, um, it's folk music with her and her guitar, but it's uh, very uh, accompanied by a lot of guests. There's a lot of guests on here too, so check it out. All right, like that a lot. Then I went to Goodwill and uh, it was one of those rare days where you get there just as they put out some really good albums and. <laughs> For about $4, I got about 12 albums, so that was great. Um, a bunch I can flip, some Southern rock, stuff that Rando doesn't really gravitate to. But uh, did find some good ones. Who Are You by The Who, and uh, I think this is the last album that Keith Moon's on, so um, very interesting. It's not my favorite period of The Who, which would probably be early or late 60s, early 70s, especially the live stuff, really good. Um, but uh, good nonetheless. There's at least four really good songs on here. So, awesome. And then I did find a very clean copy of this Woodstock album. This three album set. Um, everybody knows this. No reason to elaborate on this. But uh, side six on here is a big winner. That's the Jimi Hendrix side. All right. Excellent. And then the best one I found out of there, in my mind, is this one here rush and this is exit stage left this is a live album that i really like by them uh it came out in 1981 i believe on this one um yeah and this is an original press yeah i'm a rush geek what can i say anyway um this was uh not very well liked by all music they didn't uh like it for some reason they don't like live albums a whole lot but uh 
This I like a lot. It, it seems like they do uh, very, very close to the hip renditions of their uh, studio stuff. And uh, this is a good testament to that. Uh, Red Barchetta on here is just a fantastic out of this world song anyway. So, awesome. Along with that uh, Pain Teens album I showed you, um, I got that at a place called Greenlight up in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I uh, got it along with a couple of other albums. And one of them was this oddball. It has the sounds of love A to Z, 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 Z. And sensuously synthesized. I think the guy's name is Fred Miller. Anyway, um, so this came out in 1972. But I saw this recently, um, as recently as about a year ago. And uh, when I listened to samples of it, I wanted to get it. Because it just sounded so out there. And this really does sound out there. Uh, scattered synth sounds with uh, with apparently this woman here um, doing a lot of moaning like she's being made love to. So, so after about the second track of that, actually the halfway through the first track, you pretty much get sick of that. But um, it does end up going backwards into the mix um, a lot more after that first track. So that helps. And there is a 10-minute song on here that uh, doesn't feature her moaning at all. So that's a pretty good one, too. Um, I think this might have been something that was going around the BC for a while. I'm not sure. But um, I saw it somewhere, and when I saw it for $7, I had to grab it. All right. And the last one I got was this one here by um, Australian uh, supergroup, The Beasts of Bourbon great album called the axe man's jazz and uh probably for fans of nick cave and the bad seeds um because uh tex perkins he sounds a lot like uh nick cave and on some songs he sounds a lot like uh, lux interior of the cramps so this is a really good one dark subject matter um all the songs are about murder i believe um uh, they do a song on here called Psycho that uh, they have a video for that's a, <laughs> it's a interesting video, that's for sure. Anyway, great band, uh, Aussie Supergroup, I guess. Uh, we used to just call this college rock back then when this came out, back in 1986, I believe, on this one. Yeah, excellent. If you uh, see this, see this, pick it up. It's <laughs> it's great pub rock. Um, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, it's kind of got, you know, all the all the elements that uh, Aussie rock seems to put into their music. Uh, a little bit of indie sound, a little bit of uh, ACDC, a little bit of, uh, you know, even a country sound to it a little bit. Um, but <laughs> it is uh, quite an album. The Beasts of Bourbon. Um, I think they put out several albums after this. And, uh, wow, good album. All right. The only other thing I got was this um, this single by Off. Well, it's an EP, actually. The Live at Generation Record. At Generation Records? Yeah. In uh, 2010. I believe this was a Record Store Day release back then. Uh, pretty good, fast, hardcore stuff. Uh, featuring my favorite uh, Keith Morris on vocals. He's uh, quite excellent on this. And I uh, like it a lot. Off. Off. Yeah. So that's all I got for you this time. Um, a lot of variety of sounds there, and uh, I really dig that. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you like these selections. And if you did, uh, let me know about it down in the comments, and uh, yeah, we'll chat about it. All right. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, and I can't wait to see your new finds.